What's up, world? This your boy, you want it only money moves with your boy, Mev 2.0. On this YouTube channel, every day we strive for financial excellence so you guys can live a better and prosperous, financially free tomorrow. As you guys know, on this YouTube channel, we talk a lot about a multitude of different topics from vlogs to your city, my city, current events, um, credit, good credit, bad credit, good debt, bad debt, different types of loans. Acquiring real estate the non-traditional way, money, relationships, but we mainly talk about relationships on his YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his soon-to-be financial status. So guys, in today's video, the topic of today's video is American Black Man Gang Members who get incarcerated for a long period of time are destined to become homosexuals. So, guys, before we get into this video, I just want to thank you guys, everybody who's been rocking with your boy since day one. I created this channel a year ago. We're coming up on a year soon here in August. I just want to appreciate you guys. And for all you newcomers, hit that subscribe button. Feel free to thumbs up this video. Okay. So, Prison life. Everybody in America, in the world, in some form, has heard stories about prison. A lot of times, what the males would do, the male elders would do in the community, you know what I'm saying? They would try to deter you from going to prison because they would tell you about these stories of guys getting their manhood taken, you know what I'm saying? But not only, like, the more time a gang member has in prison, most of the time he he becomes homosexual voluntarily, okay? So a lot of guys think that a lot of guys think that these gang members are sh these straight up hard thugs. But there's a, a mirror that these guys, these guys are living behind a mask, you know what I'm saying, most of the time. Um, that's why when you ask them questions, they're hostile. Like, they feel like they're running things, you know what I'm saying? Because they never got to run nothing. Can't even run the gang that they in. So, um, what happens is, is that all that hatred and that bad attitude and, the, and, and, and guys not living the right way in the world, it sends a lot of these young guys... And middle-aged guys, I'm going to say anywhere from 15 to 35, sending these guys up the road. You know what I'm saying? We, like I said in my other video, uh, we send them up the road. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they ain't supporting no value into the community at all. Um, so they go to prison. Now, these young guys go to prison. And they got, like, these guys are hardcore bloods, crips, vice lords, GDs, all different types of gangs. And the judge sees them, look at their criminal record, and notice a track record of them become, becoming a menace to society. That's why a lot of people have menace to society on their criminal record. You know what I'm saying? When they look you up, they're going to say you're a menace to society. You know, so... They go to prison. They go to prison. Everything's cool. You know what I'm saying? They link up with the gang and stuff like that. It's not long before. The longer time that you have in prison, the more these guys who've been in prison, these other, your, your gang buddies who've been in prison, the longer than you, they can keep it away from you for only so long. But by you being in prison, eventually all that's going to come to the light. And what happens is these guys, the judge are giving them hand-me-downs tickets, giving them uh, scholarships to the uh, good American penitentiary. 
Uh, um, what happens is, is that these guys, uh, they, they, they get in 10, 15, 20 years and they, and, and a lot of guys are not lucky enough to have sexual guards. Come on. These guys are in prison. At first, they start off jacking off. You know what I'm saying? Then stuff get real. Like stuff, you've been there so long, you start seeing stuff, you start hearing stuff, you know what I'm saying? And the guys who, and the guys in your game, you know what I'm saying? They're going to make it seem cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if they can keep it from you, they will keep it from you. But nine times out of ten, those are going to be the main ones who's going to turn you out. These guys, the longer time these guys have in prison, the more likely that they are going to, they're not going to get their manhood taken. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people think that they're getting a manhood taken. These guys are going to prison and actually forming a attraction for other males because of their limited access to women. They see guys naked in the shower. You see guys naked in the shower. You know what I'm saying? Guys are, guys are, uh, got so long in prison that they make in prison trying to make the best out what they got. So a lot of these guys, they come back out to the streets and they still look manly big. You know what I'm saying? And what you don't know is, is that what they're not going to tell you is all the things that they did in prison. They come out of jail. Now they're the OGs on the streets. You know what I'm saying? These guys who got guys to give them head and stuff, they don't just lose that attraction for males in prison. They take it to the streets, initiate dudes, 